everybody and welcome back to my channel. My name is Ashley Lanise and I blend motivation with spirituality so that you can get the best benefit out of it. Today's video is on the law of one and how knowing and understanding the law of one can help you evolve and ascend into massive spiritual transformations. Let's get started. So the law of one is a spiritual concept that we are all one. I'm not sure if you've heard of the collective consciousness, but the collective consciousness is the idea that all of us humans and all of the life on earth has a one consciousness. And there was actually a study on rats where rats in two different places in the world, one of them learned something and somehow the rats in another location kind of inherently knew that. So I encourage you guys always to do your own research on these topics, but basically the law of one is that we are all one and you are everything. You are me and I am you. The thing is, is that we don't know that. And why don't we know that? Why are you me and I'm you, but I'm not aware that I'm you and you're not aware that you're me? Well, the reason why, and this is such a crucial thing that I learned about the law of one that I really want you guys to keep in your spiritual toolkits is the reason why we are unaware consciously, like I can't tap into your brain and make you do things or anything like that. You can't really tap into my brain and be me. The reason why we don't have that level of control and the reason why we aren't fully aware that we are all of each other is because however the universe started, the concept of the law of one is we were one and then we expanded outward. And why did we do that? Why did we expand into little particles? Well, the reason why that we did that is because it's a lot easier to learn about something when you divide it and dissect it, right? Like, have you ever been trying to study something? Let's say history. What are you gonna do when you try to study history? You're gonna go deep into the history of everything. You're gonna follow little pieces and particles and parts of it. History is this big umbrella. It's a big umbrella term, like the collective consciousness, like the law of one. But when you dive deeper and find the little pieces of history, the little nuggets, that is when you actually start to learn about history. So we divided and I can't tell that I'm you and control you in that way. The reason why I don't know that I'm you right now watching this video is because in order for the consciousness, the oneness to learn, we had to divide. So right now you're learning. You're learning more with your perspectives and your insights because as you walk around life, you've garnered insights and perspectives that I don't have. And I've garnered insights that you don't have. And so as we're all walking around, the oneness expanded to learn. It's kind of like, has it ever been hard for you to really understand who you are? You've been navigating through life, trying to figure out who am I? What am I like? What are my values? This, that, the third. And then you've ran into somebody and they've said something interesting to you. Like, oh, you're like this. And you're like, wait a minute you learn because you have other elements, this divide. It's so hard to know really who you are. It's like that saying, it's hard to see yourself from the inside out. So the universe has divided the outside in to show you what you're like. Actually, literally yesterday, I was talking to an old friend and I told this person, I said, you know, you're really hard to impress. And so I would like your opinion about something and see if it impresses you because I want to garner the attention or the impression. I want to be able to impress you because if I can impress you and you're hard to impress, then I can impress a certain demographic of people. And that struck this person. This person was like, wait a minute, I'm hard to impress? Like this person didn't realize that he was hard to impress until I pointed it out to him. And he then can take that information and learn from it because I've pointed it out and shown it. It's like, if you've never looked at yourself in the mirror, you have no idea what you look like. 
So it's the same way with the law of one. We divided so that things like mirrors could be created, things like other people could be created so that we can divide and expand. I'm sure maybe you know, if you look into science, that the universe is growing. It's literally expanding. Why is it expanding? Because it's learning. It's, it's, it's feeding because of all of us and our consciousnesses collecting data and growing. And so the last point that I wanted to say to really kind of drive this home for some people that might not be fully understanding it, I really feel like this is about to be the key tip that makes it make sense. Think about it this way, a swimming pool that in the winter, it wasn't touched, it was just chilling, whatever. And the people that have the swimming pool, they go move, remove the cover, try to figure out, you know, okay, we've got to balance chemicals, whatever, right? Well, the swimming pool, it was sitting there for so long that like all of the dirt and the winter debris and everything is at the bottom. So all of the dirt and debris and muck is one. And you can't really learn about something until you allow it to sift to the surface. One of my relatives actually had a swimming pool and they would have to clean it and they'd find all these different critters that crawled into the pool over the winter. And then they kind of understood, okay, well, then I need to put this kind of a tarp over top of it. You learn. By sifting through things, you learn about them. By dividing material, you learn. So the way that this can impact and help your transformation is when you understand that we are one another, you have more forgiveness for people, first and foremost, and you can connect with people so much better. And a part of transformation, what people don't tell you, a part of transformation is connecting, is Bonding with people, like when you go out in the world and you realize everyone is you, and this can be so hard to stomach, right? Like, especially for me, like I have strong morals and values where I, you know, am an advocate for human rights and human trafficking. So the concept of like terrible people being me to some degree really cringes me. But the way that it works is you're learning from that energy you're learning from them. It's a reflection of what you want to be eliminated from this world. You want to learn to sift through and discard that material so that the universe can, can continue to expand. So just think about that. Think about when someone's being nasty towards you, we're all one, not to think like you're doing it to yourself, nothing like that. Think about what you're trying to learn from this moment, what you can gain, the perspectives you can add to this universe, how you can teach the other person, because they're learning too. Thoughts and ideas operate a lot like viruses or health and wellness. When someone is thinking negatively, the way that I see it is they're just sick with like the negative flu. Either they're gonna win or you are. You have a duty to teach people who are negative because you are a part of the law of one. And when you understand that we are all connected, you can really tap into the collective consciousness and have intuition and know, know what is meant to happen. Know that everything's working out for you, best case scenario, and evolve. So that is all that I have for you guys today. Thank you so much for watching this video all the way until the end. If you like videos like this, hit subscribe, hit that like, and I will see you all in the next video.